Hi, welcome to the Secure Hacks Weekly. This time we're going to talk about the Azure AD identity protection and uh, investigating risky events related to identities. We're going to detect, analyze, and decide what is happening with our users. So first of all, let's look at the Azure portal. So we are on the portal azure.com and we're going to go to Azure AD identity protection part. And uh, over here, there is a little bit of statistics, so uh, you can see um, that uh, we've got different different um, statistics related with protecting the user identities. And if we go into the user uh, risk policy, then we can configure uh, that by going into the users, all users. Here you've got the users that we would like to include in that particular policy. So we can choose someone from the list. So there could be, for example, a secure demo over here and um, we could also specify the exclusions uh, so for example for us that could be a breakless account uh, or just simply an account that we're going to specify over here so for us it's going to be the uh, CQ SOC 2 account and here we are specifying the user risk so we've got uh, risk levels that are uh, applied needed for the policy to be enforced and here we specify low and above so uh, here we can get into controls, as you can see, and we can go to the uh, require password change. And then um, you've got really two options, block access or either allow access and require password change uh, in terms of, of course, um, enforce that types of policies. So uh, here we've got an enforce policy switch so we can get into on. And uh, well, it's actually pretty easy setup. And then we just save the setting and wait for that one to be applied. So we get a saved user risk policy. Now we could also assign in a risk policy where we go into the simply uh, policy. So we apply it particularly for, and then we specify the users or either all users. Uh, and uh, we can also specify some uh, exclusions. So over here, for example, we can um, put that policy to the group of all users, but we exclude a particular account. So our SOC2 account as the break glass, break the glass uh, account. Now uh, here uh, we've got for all of the users sign in risk that we also define. And um, as you can see, we can choose from the list. So we specified low and above. And same story for the controls. We've got a possibility to also configure that type of a control where we do specify that it's supposed to be allow access but require multi-factor authentication. So this is good. We can enforce that policy and we can save it. So here we go. We just need to wait a little bit for that one to be applied. And then as you can see, uh, there's also a recommendation uh, regarding the uh, conditional access. So we can check it out as well. And within the conditional access uh, amongst the policies, you can see that we've got actually a policy here uh, already configured, but we're going to create a new policy. And that particular policy uh, will be for the certain group of users. So we do include, for example, all users. And of course, we need to uh, make sure that we will not lock ourselves out. But here we're going to specify also the user risk. And uh, here we've got the sign in risk. Yeah. And uh, for that one, for example, this one is uh, not configured. And um, we've got also uh, the cloud apps or actions where we can uh, configure the corresponding uh, cloud uh, apps. So we can do select. And then we can search amongst the cloud apps to which that particular policy is going to be used for. So uh, just to just to demonstrate, of course, this part, because uh, we are focusing more on the uh, Azure AD identity protection. But of course, the policy uh, amongst the conditional access is important here, too. So we can go to the risky users and re review the potential here. So we've got there is a user uh, CQ SOC 2, and that's the user that's at risk. And we can, of course, uh, learn why. So there are recent risky sign-ins and uh, that is something that amongst logs is going to uh, come out because if we've got a certain certain uh, sign-ins that uh, potentially are coming from the locations that were not defined before, like in terms of conditional access or, for example, they are coming from the Tor network, then that is something that we will be able to spot within the log. Yeah? So you can see that there's an Azure portal login. We can see exactly the date for that user, for example. This one is from uh, Great Britain. 
and also you are able to see that uh, that's at risk and of course we can learn why is that and of course if uh, we would love to um, dig in into more details yeah then you can see that uh, these are the sign-in events that we are right now uh, pulling out and um, we can review of course all of them yeah so there's one that is interrupted and that's the one that uh, caught our attention uh, as well but uh, we've got also some failures we've got also some successes and uh, this log set will allow us also to uh, see what's going on with this particular user for example here we're able to learn that um, this particular user was logging on from Poland we can see when uh, so uh, also leveraging the conditional access part and it's also very not logical that within the uh, for example similar time that a user will be logging on from a different location of course user could be using potentially VPN and so on and this is all that could be defined over here but that is just to show you that this kind of probes for sign-in so simply uh, spraying off the accounts from the outside of the certain company could be easily uh, detected so if we get into uh, risky sign-ins as well we can see and identify the sign-ins so not really related with users right now or per user but just um, a probe of sign-in and this is also the place where we're going to be able to learn that we are experiencing quite a lot of uh, activities for example for example from the outside so let's have a look here we are um, using the tor browser yeah so just an example we're going through germany poland and so on and this is how we are browsing microsoftonline.com so we are actually coming from the Tor network and uh, we will try to sign in. That's the policy that we have configured over there and we are signing on a CQ demo. So just a test. We're going to enter over here a password. So pretty complex password. Sign in. Yeah. And that's the moment where the sign in was actually blocked because before um of course first of all we are coming from tor network but before we actually configured that type of a policy and here you can see a little bit of a troubleshooting details uh, so we will be able to investigate that further in the portal but this is the proof that the policy is actually um, applied so we can only sign out over there and that's it and of course on the other side here in a portal we can see pretty much very quickly the log coming recording that activity so you can see the uh, corresponding uh, corresponding account so there's a secure demo and uh, this one is particularly coming from uh, the Netherlands and uh, we can also verify the details of that probe for sign-in and you can see that here um, it cannot configure multi-factor authentication methods due to suspicious activity and you can also review the related risk info and then there is a detection type we can get into the anonymous IP address and that pretty much defines us this is a log type that defines us that we actually came from the Tor network which proves the point yeah so here we can specify confirm sign in compromise and uh, that would actually start another process for the user uh, once we confirm it of course so that user will need to for example change the password or whatever else else we're going to assign to this kind of activity so wanted to show you azure ad identity protection very quickly how important role it plays in determining whether the users are coming from trusted locations or not and how pretty comfortable and easy it is to discover that uh, some of the signings might be actually suspicious and that there are probes for accounts in our organization to be compromised. So thank you so much for listening and uh, see you at the next Secure Hacks Weekly episode.